Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For this video, I want to walk through something that I feel like we're all feeling a lot more of right now. <laughs> Um, but also just sometimes you want to be super comfortable. It doesn't matter. Maybe it's your time of the month. Maybe you just are having a bad day or in a bad mood. Like we all go through times when you absolutely do not want to dress up. The idea of putting on a pair of jeans is torture <laughs> and you just want to like be comfortable. You know, maybe you're getting on a plane. A lot of these things are going to be outfits that I wear when I'm traveling or knowing I'm going to be sitting for a long time. So I thought I would make a video where I kind of walk through how some of my tricks of how I like to dress, in my opinion, chic, but incredibly comfortable. These are my go-to outfits when I'm just having like a blah day and I kind of want to walk through some of my tricks and how I style these things. So first things first, you might be spotting a few things here and we'll start with this. All black might not be your thing. I live in New York, so all black is extremely versatile for me for many reasons. It takes me from morning to night, whether I'm going into work, going to a party, whatever I'm doing, I can kind of match the formality of that occasion. So I love all black. Black also enables me to wear like lower price, sort of high street items, and no one really knows where they're from. They might look really expensive. Black camouflages things a lot easier as far as like varying price points and fabric choices, in my opinion. So wearing black is great, but wearing all black is particularly great when you just want to feel super comfortable because you're going to look really chic, even if you're in something like I am right now, which is essentially a giant black baggy t-shirt and a pair of leggings. All I do is throw a big blazer on over it and I could look very chic and I'd feel very comfortable going to a variety of outings in this outfit. I'd also sleep in this. It's that comfortable. So going for a monochrome look is definitely something I would recommend if you're feeling just like a little bit blah, whether that's, you know, all cream, head to toe, all gray. Even if you're wearing a sweatsuit, I mean, hello, Hailey Bieber, Yeezy, Kim Kardashian, wearing skims, like there is a method to their madness. Even when they're wearing head to toe sweats, they still look super chic and put together. It looks intentional if you're wearing a monochromatic color. So you don't have to be in all black, but I do think black is easier if you want to get away with maybe not wearing a bra or, you know, just a lot of things like that. Black is a great way to just kind of blend in and still feel slim and chic and put together. So I would definitely recommend going for a monochromatic look when you're trying to feel comfortable. The next thing I will talk through is, like I mentioned, having a big baggy t-shirt. <laughs> Nothing feels better than not wearing a bra and wearing a big baggy t-shirt. So I recommend having some really big comfortable ones in your wardrobe that you can just grab and go for. I like to bring these on trips when sometimes I'm just not feeling I don't know if you guys do this, but sometimes I'll like pack a lot of things with like the intention of looking super cute every day, but then life happens, especially if you're on a long trip and sometimes you just don't want to be super dressed up and wearing things that are really restricting. And sometimes you just want to throw on a big t-shirt. So I highly recommend having a great oversized soft big t-shirt. One of my favorites is from Weekday. I got this from ASOS a long time ago. I love anything that's big enough to cover my bum, anything that I can throw on where I don't have to wear a bra and I can throw on just a big jacket and maybe a scarf if you're a bustier lady. That's a really good trick for also hiding. I do this a lot when I'm taking my dog out in the mornings when I'm just like basically still in my pajamas but I need to like go out in the city and take her around. I'll just grab a big black t-shirt like this so this one from weekday i'm a really big fan of i'm also wearing a james pierce one that's actually my boyfriend's that i stole from him so that's a good option as well james pierce can be a little bit pricier if you want to go second hand you can get a i would recommend getting like a helmet lang t-shirt or a james pierce off of the real real you can often get men's for like 40 dollars instead of the 100 plus price point 
This was another favorite of mine. It's got a little bit of a longer sleeve and it's just got a nice wider cut. It's almost kind of a hybrid, almost sweatshirt material. I like how thick it is and it's got like a longer sleeve. So these are all sort of like my go-to big black t-shirt options and I like to pair it with a legging <laughs> sometimes in the winter which I haven't gotten my stuff out of storage yet but I will do a video about that I will do it with like a high boot so it looks like you're almost wearing riding pants and that is also a super chic look and yeah I will pair it with a big oversized blazer this one is an absolute favorite from Zara. I think the key is that it has a little bit of structure to it. If you're wearing not very, you know, structured leggings and a big t-shirt, I think it's important to balance the outfit out with a little bit of structure. So having a big blazer, and what do I mean by structure? Let me explain that. Something like shoulder pads, which is great. There's definition in the shoulders, having it be long enough to cover your butt <laughs> because if you're not wearing, you know, if you're wearing very tight uh, leggings, maybe you're wearing underwear with your leggings, you don't want to see the panty line, just cover, you know, cover the booty with a big blazer. Another great option that I have is, this is another Zara one that I love, a nice gray. But once again, going for that just neutral, easy color palette. And it's still really, really comfortable, but yeah, oversized, nothing feels tight, everything's comfortable. And that kind of brings me to my next point, which is the legging. There is a world outside of just the legging because actually sometimes I don't even feel like putting on leggings. These are really great ones from Mango. They're actually not too tight. They have a lot of stretch in them, but like some of my leggings, I actually feel more restricted than if I was wearing like a jogger pant or something. So I really love wearing non-jean sort of trousers. I would invest in some nice ones. Um, and by the way, nice doesn't need to mean expensive. Actually, some of my absolute favorites, which I think they're sold out, but I will link some similar ones below. I loved these so much. I actually bought them in two from two different brands. These are from Mango, which I do think are my favorites. I bought similar ones from H&M when the Mango one sold out, but I have been wearing these absolutely non-stop. They are a jogger pant that's a little bit looser, a little bit cropped, and I just love the elasticated waist. I feel so comfortable in these. I actually kind of hide the fact that they're elasticated by having a really large like white button up over the top and then a blazer on top of that. The more layers, the better, because then you don't pick up on some of these more comfortable details like the elasticized waist, but you still get that comfort. And there's something that's kind of like effortlessly chic about this. So these, I would definitely try to go for a drawstring trouser. Mango has great options. I will try to find as many as I can and link them down below. Another option, which is really great in the summertime, but I would honestly wear these year round. These are from Quince, and these are again a really nice loose trouser. These are linen, so I would go for just a natural, comfortable material. These are high waist because personally I think high waists feel better to me. They kind of hug me in. If you like a low waist, then you can wear it low, whichever you prefer. But yeah, I think alone sometimes these can look a little grandma-y but i think if you layer them with cooler pieces like for example that big like white long button up and then maybe a gilet over it it's just a lot of interesting layering and you're still giving your body that freedom to just relax and be in the clothing if you want to go for like a fancier option i highly recommend Maybe you have an event and you're really not feeling your best. These pants are so comfortable. There's nothing more chic in my opinion than kind of like a pajama set for a night out. But if you're not feeling that adventurous and you're worried that people might think you're wearing pajamas, go for the satin pant. Like these from the Atelier, I featured them in my last video. This is a great way to have just a really comfortable, chic bottom on and then have just a really lovely, you know, big oversized blazer you could do a nice black sweater tucked into it like 
whatever feels great to you. This is a nice way to be really chic and dressed up without having to wear like a tight dress or something that just might not feel very comfortable. I actually really love these pants for daytime as well. Call me crazy, I know they're satin, but I just think they're a great pop of color. I think they look really nice mixing these with different textures like a knit just because that adds a lot of like visual interest. So I love these pants. They're stretchy enough where they don't feel restricting. So definitely don't rule out trousers. I think trousers are so much more comfortable than jeans if you get ones that have the right amount of stretch and that aren't too tight fitting. So that leads me to this. Hear me out. Okay. I, pr I swear that this suit is actually more comfortable or just as comfortable as wearing like a pair of pajamas. These trousers actually have an elasticated waist, so they're super stretchy. I get them a little oversized. And once again, I can wear them with like a larger top, but with the pleating and the pants and having it cropped, you still look chic. There's structure in this vest and I actually prefer a vest even more so than a blazer because you can wear a really comfortable loose fitting button up have your arms be free and still get that structure with the vest but not feel so restricted than if you have like a full blazer that's keeping your arms in really tight so a vest is an even better way to go in my opinion do not be fooled by the suit I promise you they are even more comfortable than jeans or even just very traditional trousers. A lot of them are made with this elasticated waist now. And they're phenomenal. So I would highly recommend trying it out. It's worth getting your pants hemmed, I will say as well. You can have, just try to go for the proportions that are best for your body. I pretty much have to get all my pants hemmed because my legs are really short, but it's worth that. And then if you want to go full legging, just always be careful, like I mentioned. Just try to cover the bum, make sure your top is long enough, your blazer is long enough. And it's great to like tuck these into boots. If you're looking for a good legging that's like the most comfortable legging known to man, I have the secret. And it is All Saints. These are the most comfortable leggings I've ever had in my life. What are they made of? 45% cotton, 45% modal, 10% elastane. Just take my word for it, these are just heaven. Heaven, heaven, heaven. They still have them online, even though I bought them years ago, so I'd recommend you getting some. They're just the softest, creamiest, like, oh, just, oh, they're so, so comfortable. And they even have this amazing kind of like skirt overlay so it covers your bum for you and it adds like an additional interesting sort of layering piece so underrated i know i would never think to go to all saints for sort of like base layers but these are the best leggings i have ever bought in addition to my major ones of course i think another key thing here is adding like a little piece of luxury so whether that be like i absolutely love my mules, I cannot, I wear these all the time, my Gucci slides. These are the perfect, I just wanna be comfortable shoe because you just slide them on and off, yet you look really chic because you've got this lovely leather, lovely hardware. It adds an extra element of just that effortlessness to your wardrobe. So even when I'm wearing essentially leggings and a t-shirt and a little blazer, all from Zara, I still look really high end because I have on nice shoes. So I would highly recommend investing in a nice pair of mules. I will leave some similar ones. Actually, Italic just came out with some really nice mules in all leather for more of a $100 price point. So you can get really nice, well-made shoes like this. And if you're just gonna go out and walk the dog or you're on a plane and you're gonna be slipping your shoes on and off, highly recommend going for a mule. It is, they're so comfortable. I'm obsessed. Obviously, I love tennis shoes. I think tennis shoes are great. Just make sure, you know, they're clean and yeah, a little, you're clean and stylish. Just try to go for clean. If you're gonna go for casual and oversized and all of that, make sure that you have, you know, some element of cleanliness put together. Yeah. Also, it's really nice to add just clean accessories like leather, minimal. This can elevate any outfit and make it look like you were just trying a little bit harder without even trying just have your go-to pieces that you kind of throw on i love this bag from italic this is new this is a 
kind of like a replacement. I was looking at the Celine Sangle bag, but I wasn't in love with it. I wanted a more utilitarian bag I could carry around with like my tripod in it and just like a ton of stuff and extra pair of shoes. And I really love this bag. I think this will look great when I'm out like running errands. So that's a great go-to. I mentioned it before, but I think a really big scarf is a lovely way to not wear a bra <laughs> and be super comfortable. Even better if it's, obviously like you don't have to wear anything designer. You can get a really beautiful, a scarf is also a great way to have a nice like pop of color. Um, I love, I do like my Louis Vuitton scarf just because when I'm feeling particularly disgusting, I think it can just add a little bit of, a little bit of zhuzh, especially to an all black outfit. And yeah, see, am I wearing a bra? I don't know, no one can tell, no one can tell. So yeah, throw this on with a nice coat and you have really no idea what you have on underneath. So I definitely think investing in a nice scarf is a nice way to just feel comfortable and feel chic when you're running around town. Another thing, if you want to get really nasty, is if you do have to leave the house and look nice and say you haven't washed your hair in a long time, I'd highly recommend a hat. Uh, also, easy way to look super cool and not have to do your hair for sure. I haven't gotten my roots done in a while, so yeah. This one is from Gigi Pip, and already I look like I put in so much effort to this outfit, and this is a very easy thing for me to put together. Just all, all monochrome, very relaxed, very nice. But once again, see the hat has a lot of structure, so it's providing structure and interesting elements to my outfit where I don't have structure, say in my large t-shirt underneath. So yeah, a hat, always a great trick. It could be a beanie, it could be, you know, a bowler hat for all I care. <laughs> the next thing I want to mention is outerwear. So if you are leaving the house, as I mentioned, it's nice to have a really nice coat. That is a great investment piece. I think I'm going to do another video actually about pieces that I think are worth adding to your wardrobe that just like are easy to grab, are incredible staples, the things that I never regret buying that have really helped me sort of build up. I don't want to say capsule wardrobe because I'm certainly not a minimalist. <laughs> if you've seen my videos, I have a lot of clothes, but these are the things that really build the foundation of my wardrobe. So that aside, I think I'm going to do a video on that, but I would go for really nice pieces that you can just wear over these the sort of base of the t-shirts and the leggings or the t-shirts and the trousers. So I have some of my favorite sort of like, they're not even outerwear pieces because these are actually things that I wear inside or on a plane. These are things that I'll toss in my bag maybe when I'm on a plane that just bring an extra element of chicness even though they're equally as comfortable. This I've talked about before in another video, I think my knitwear. This is like a cardigan a shawl, I'm not really sure what to call this, from Kinsey. This is 100% cashmere. It's so comfortable, but once again, because I'm going for that monochromatic look in all black, it makes for a very just chic, comfortable outfit. I can throw on a nice bag with this, maybe my Lady Dior or something. And yeah, I would feel very comfortable wearing this to work on a day where maybe I'm just not feeling, you know, not feel my best or maybe I'm working from home and I just want to be comfortable. I love this because it's very easy to take on and off when I get hot and yeah it's just a really great staple. Nice piece. I could put a little belt on if I felt like it. Obviously I don't really feel like putting anything around my tummy right now but yeah it's just it's a nice nice little little knit to add that extra pizzazz over just a basic t-shirt. I've talked about this so much, but I am obsessed with it. It is my handmade wool gilet from Mango, and it's because it's so easy. Once again, I love a vest. I love a vest because of, I think, that comfort reason of having my arms be free. So I don't feel restricted, but it just adds really beautiful structure. It looks put together, but once again, all I have underneath are a t-shirt and leggings. It just covers me up, but in a way that 
just looks really professional. I could bring it in and, you know, knot it if I wanted to add a little definition, but I just, I love this whole range from Mango. I think it is such good quality, as I've mentioned before. I loved it so much that I actually got the camel coat version, which finally came in the mail, so I will share that with you guys. In general, I think a big oversized coat that is made from a nice fabric like a wool is an absolute great way. You can just sling this over your outfit and I think any neutral color like a gray or a camel or a black, my black coat from the row I wore nonstop in Paris. This is definitely a more affordable option. I think it's actually on sale right now on Mango, but yeah. Having a really great large coat like this, they also make shorter versions because I know not everyone likes to have a long coat like this, but there is something quite glamorous in my mind about having a really long, long coat uh, like this. So yeah, I am just obsessed with this. I highly recommend, I think this is actually called a blanket coat and it feels like a blanket. So, you know, if you just need a little bit of a hug one day, I would highly recommend just throwing on a blanket coat, taking your dog out and putting on your little slides and you'll still look super chic AF even though you might not feel it. And yeah, it's just such an amazing material, really high quality. I really love what Mango has done here. So I, I highly recommend a blanket coat or just a nice coat made out of wool or something that's just very snuggly that you can get into. Koss also has really nice ones. I'll leave them down below. I have a gray one from them that I am obsessed with. All right, so my my final advice, which I would just say is it's all about balance. Anytime we're putting an outfit together, I would recommend having a little bit of contrast, a little bit of balance. You're really looking for that perfect equilibrium. What do I mean by that? So if you're not feeling good or you're just not feeling like you're a game, you wanna be super comfortable and you are wearing stuff that's really oversized, contrast for every oversized or even undersized, really tight fitting casual leggings, try to contrast that with this more structured piece. So for example, I'm wearing leggings and a big t-shirt. So I need at least two structured pieces or two polished pieces. So I'm putting together with this, you know, blazer and these slides. Similarly, I would, I love putting my hair back in just like a tight little bun. I like contrasting, yeah, the oversized with having a little bit neater hair, pulling it back, maybe less makeup. Just think about the overall look and try to create a balanced equation. So like I said, yeah, go for, or if, I, if you do wanna wear a lot of colors, maybe you have a big pink oversized you know, blazer, great, throw that on, but try to keep everything else really simple. You don't need a ton of different fabrics um, kind of adding into the mix. So yeah, that's that would be my recommendation, but this is something that I've been constantly trying to do ever since the pandemic, ever since I've been working at home. I've been enjoying dressing up, but I'm definitely more relaxed and casual. And I certainly have days where I just, I just want to look like Mary Kate Olsen. <laughs> like, I just want to look like I don't give a F and, but still look really chic, if you know what I mean. So that's the look we're going for with these looks. And yeah, hope this helps. Hope you found some good pieces where you can be comfortable and très chic at the same time. And I will see you all in the next